Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a general collective reading for all the earth signs. So I'm doing something a bit differently this week. So instead of doing all the individual uh, videos for all 12 zodiacs, I'm doing all of the elements. So um, all the fire signs, I did a collective reading for all of them. And now I'm doing a reading for all the earth signs. So this is all uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn earth signs. So this is a general collective reading. And as I always say, please take what resonates, whatever does not, leave it on the table. <laughs> you know, leave it for somebody else. Don't try to make fetch happen. Don't try to make everything that I say in this reading fit to your situation in your life if it does not. You know, this is a general reading. It's impossible to get everybody. Now, if everything that I say hits your life exactly, then hey. <laughs> okay, shit, I must be, we, we really in sync over here. We're really in sync over here. But, you know, realistically, you're not, 100%, this is not going to be, uh, fit everything. So, let's go ahead and get into your reading, our earth signs again, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's get started. So, we have the Princess of Swords in reverse. Then we have the Empress in reverse. Earth signs, y'all, I feel as if someone is dealing with someone who is jealous or there is someone who is jealous uh, of you. There's some jealousy here off bat. That's what I'm picking up immediately. <clears throat> what I'm getting here is this could be if this is a because I'm picking up a lot of female energy, you know, but feminine energy again, um, it doesn't always just have to be a woman. Feminine energy is energy. It could be from a man. It could be just that 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 way that what I'm feeling. But, you know, I'm picking up a lot of feminine energy from this reading. But there's some jealousy here. There's some jealousy here. So, um, Earth signs, you could have someone who is jealous of you. A rival is what I'm hearing. So, like a, a romantic rival. If this is not a, a romantic rival or a situation of some sort, this is a uh, person at work then who is jealous of you or someone, just someone who is jealous of you because they see this rising star within you. They see this, um, this person who just, <clears throat> they make things happen, you know? This person, somebody is just making things happen. Somebody is living their life, you know, just very abundantly just feeling very blessed in their lives feeling very uh prosperous in everything that they're doing and when i say prosperity and abundance you know we hear that all the time spirit especially in the spiritual community but prosperity prosperity and abundance don't always equate money they don't always equate wealth they don't always equate just these tangible physical things this what i'm picking up right here yeah, this person, somebody has all that or somebody is working on accumulating all of that. But more than that, what I'm feeling is somebody is really just enjoying themselves. Somebody is being um, single. Somebody, or if you're not single, um, maybe you're with someone. But again, and maybe that's where some jealousy lies, but we'll get into that. But there is someone here who is just living their life to the fullest is what I'm getting. They're, they're, they're happy with themselves. They... Um, they are just happy with what they have going on and they're very content with the things that they're working on that they're creating and just these different ideas and they're just really living their life to the fullest right now and they're really just enjoying themselves and just watch it they're they're re somebody's really enjoying watching themselves grow that's what i'm getting as well but and other people are watching um you know this person or this situation our company it could be a company that's growing you know like started off like small but now some this something happened and now this company is really taking off and ideas are taking off and uh just the employees and just things of that nature so this again the way that i'm speaking do not let this you know how this resonates in your life <laughs> earth signs so I'm not going to waste any more time with that. Um, there's just something or someone here that's very beautiful, very abundant, just very nurturing that just has that, um, that has it going on. Something or someone has it going on and the same way that um, 
other people are looking and appreciating, you know, that, oh, this person has going on, this business is up and coming, is creating, or things are really popping off with this, um, you know, this area of study, however it is, or uh, this relationship. Even though you have people who are admiring and looking at that and looking at the beauty of that, then you know what you have um, on the other side. Yep, you have the haters. You have the jealous um, uh, people who are too, maybe too afraid to go out and get it on their own, maybe too afraid to take some chances and do things on their own, um, maybe go out and get their own partner, <laughs> their own relationship because they're too busy hating on yours or... Um, you know, if this is saying, this could be saying that, uh, this person who is independent, you know, just working on their own selves and working on their own lives, maybe this jealousy comes from a, maybe this jealousy comes from someone, you know, who they were dealing with, an ex or an ex's uh, current love situation you understand what I'm saying and maybe they're jealous because that particular ex you know they can't stop thinking about you they really want you but then they have this other person so this other person is petty because I feel as if someone wants to communicate with someone or they wanted to communicate with someone in the past or some sort but then someone was keeping someone was delaying this communication so it could have been this jealous person someone could have been delaying some kind of information or some kind of um news or some sort because they were jealous and they were trying to keep you know two people apart or keep um uh, keep this person from going somewhere else because there was definitely, I feel as if someone had to make a decision because they were, um, they were deciding, you know, which one of these situations felt more stable. So we have the two of pentacles right here. And as you can see, this man is holding two coins. So I feel as if someone dropped one um, situation in order to go forward to another. We have the world card in reverse. So... Yeah, they ended something to go for. They ended somebody ended something, <clears throat> or they had to end something in order to. Okay, that's the thing. Somebody went back to a past situation because this world card it shows up in the reverse. It's not complete. So there was something from this past situation that still needed to be completed, or some cycle, or some sort that still needed to be closed out. But there was definitely someone here who was contemplating and just wondering which which one of these um, people, which one of these situations, which one of these things is in my best interest? Which one is going to provide me the most stability? Which one is going to provide me the most health? Um, <clears throat> you know, it, what, what is going to have me here that's not going to have me so just you know, feeling out on a limb or just feeling, I need something stable. That's what I'm hearing. That somebody was like, I need something stable. <clears throat> so maybe they went back to something, uh, maybe went back to an ex-person or went back to an old situation or an old uh, job or some sort. But there was something that was from the past that wasn't exactly closed out just yet. So maybe this is why someone dropped you know, whatever it is, whatever the other option or whatever it is that other other thing was to go back to close out this situation. Because there was someone who definitely, um, they wanted some stability in this and they wanted to offer that. And I feel maybe someone did, but then it caused, um, it caused someone to turn around it caused someone to run so maybe someone admitted their feelings maybe someone was very honest about their feelings so that's what i'm getting here okay so you know what i'm just gonna straight up talk about a relationship because that's the easiest way to explain it and a lot of people deal with that but relationship that's my example but you apply it to whatever area in your life so yes there's definitely someone who was living abundantly who um just living, just living in their truth, living in their honesty, being beautiful, just going forward, being independent, uh, just growing their empire, making things happen, um, just pretty much 
whatever they touched was gold. <laughs> you know, somebody was jealous of that though. Somebody was very jealous of that. And because of that, they may have withheld some communication. Maybe they prevented some kind of communication from happening, but there was definitely someone who was juggling two or more things. But <clears throat> there were still some unfinished cycles and some unfinished businesses, unfinished business that needed to occur. So maybe this is why someone dropped something in order to go back to the other thing. However, <sighs> someone... Um, someone wanted to someone wanted to make this offer of something or maybe they did uh, make an offer of stability or maybe admitting their feelings as I said and maybe this is what caused someone to turn around we have the two of uh, no prince of pentacles right there and then we have the chariot card but it's in reverse so instead of going forward this made someone retreat this made someone go back this made someone turn around <clears throat> someone was maybe someone was possibly afraid of their feelings is what I'm picking up and maybe that's why they returned maybe that's why they dropped this situation or they dropped whatever it was to go back to this old cycle to go back to this old situation these old ways of thinking because these new ways of thinking, that would have opened up just different possibilities and different things for them. And I feel as if that would have been very overwhelming. That would have been very overwhelming uh, for them. So they they kind of had to dumb it down. <laughs> you know, so... Yeah, when they went back to this, I don't know... Yeah, when they went back to this situation, but someone definitely spoke up and I feel as if it was a long time coming or maybe they took a long time in actually speaking these words or actually admitting how they felt. But then once they actually admitted it, then it caused something to retreat. It caused an imbalance in something. So maybe it threw the relationship off. Whatever the words that they said, maybe it threw the relationship off and maybe this is what caused someone to to move forward and to leave or to go, however that resonates. But at what the thing is, at the heart of the matter is, you know, at the very center of this reading, you know, what's not being said out loud, <laughs> but what's pretty much assumed or presumed is we have the Ten of Cups. And that's a very happy card. That's a, a emotional card. Just talking about family and just having this emotional fulfillment and everything, and reaching, reaching, reaching the end. You know, not the end. Saying that okay, we reached our goal. That's the end. That's life. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> you know, we still have more goals and we still have more things and opportunities that always come to us in life that we charge forward to. What this is saying to me, what this is saying to me is with this current energy, with this jealous person, this uh, jealousy uh, nature that we have down here, maybe this um, situation where someone dropped one thing in order to go to the other. At the very center of this matter is this they want happiness. This person wants true happiness, but they don't feel as if this is stable enough to hold it because we have the four of wands, but it's in reverse. So yes, they want this happiness and they want this family life, but they feel that maybe it's just not enough. Love ain't enough, <laughs> which is funny because um, earlier today, that phrase just started playing in my head about something, love, love's just not enough. You know, because <clears throat> uh, love does not pay the bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Love doesn't pay the bills. So love isn't enough because we have love, yes. But then when it comes to relationships or business partnerships or just any kind of social relationships, we need honesty. We need integrity we need boundaries we need independence we need 
healthy mindsets. There's so much. There's so many more things that we need that are weighted against love. Don't get me wrong. Love is great. Love is important. Love makes the world go round. It's the first and foremost thing that we need. But look at this. We we okay. Love is not enough. We need we need this these other things as well. You know we need these other things. We need to work on these other things. So. Yeah, I love you. I love this situation. I love our business. I love our home. I love, uh, you know, our children, um, you know, just everything. However, it just, it's not feeling, someone's not feeling the love. That's what it is. Someone's not feeling the love. And someone's not feeling that the love is stable. And they're not feeling, somebody's not feeling supported right now is what I'm getting as well. So, um someone might be feeling as if the support might be one-sided right now and they might not be receiving the same support. Charging forward into this um, energy. So what, um, so we already saw what was at the heart of the matter. So let's see maybe potential outcome uh, from the current energy or you know what's for the future we have the eight of pentacles and then we have the seven of swords <clears throat> so what i'm picking up is this is saying that someone um, someone is working on this connection, whatever this is, they're working on this partnership, this business, they are, they're fully invested in this now, and they're actually putting in the work to do this. So there's work that's being put into the situation because somebody did not want to give up on this. So because of, um, so this is a, this is a great outcome, you know, this, what we have right here, someone is now willing to put in the work because they realize that, okay, Things may not seem, maybe I don't feel stable right now, or things don't feel, or maybe I don't feel supported right now. However, I feel so much emotion. I feel so much love towards the situation that, you know, I'm still willing to work on this. I'm still willing to put my all into it because I don't want to give up on this because I don't want to walk away. So maybe this is saying that someone did walk away at some point or was thinking about walking away. However, they realized that, you know what, think, yeah, we can work on the stability, but my love is still there. Our love is still there. So love ain't enough, but here's my thing. And I'm going to end it this way. Um, this is a very good ending, you know, somebody willing to work on this connection and not wanting to walk away or run away or leave it. However, <clears throat> just because the love is there, we still need these other things. So yeah, we have love. That's at the heart of the matter here. No doubt about it. But we need support. We need stability. We need a firm foundation. We need to turn this card around. This could be representing a marriage, a partnership. Somebody was dealing with a baby shower. Um, however, that resonates. <laughs> Whoever watches this, you know that because this card talks about celebrations and everything. So this is saying that, yeah, this is a partnership and a marriage. I feel with this situation um, or a marriage, people, businesses merging, a merger. Again, however it resonates in your life. But there's it's something with a baby or something here, like a baby shower. Honey, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> good. So earth signs, put in that work. Don't give up on your relationships or your partnerships. And if you don't want to walk away or you, know, you wanna invest in them, by all means. However, realize that we're gonna need a lot more than just love. Love don't pay the bills around here, okay? We need some stability. All right, Earth Signs. I'm glad you all enjoyed that reading. I hope you all enjoyed that reading. But anyway, um, I hope you all have a great weekend. No, I don't hope. I want you all to have a great week. I will talk to you later. Stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye.